two, what's good, man? It's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy, and once again, welcome to the Flight Academy Kicks YouTube channel. Appreciate y'all so much for tuning in for this video. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This video, I'm probably gonna get a lot of flight, but I don't really care, man. People talk, but ain't nobody gonna touch me, man. It's just like that, man. But we gonna keep it a buck, and we gonna keep it a hundred for this video right here, man. So y'all might wanna scrap in, because it's gonna be a wild one, man. So instead of doing all the talking, let's get straight to the intro. What I'm mad at, man. It's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pastor Flight, Shoe Flight, Flex Luger. Call me what you want, but can't play the boy broke. They should I'm be rich in Christ, man. Back with another video as usual. If you have already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Then we rock with the flight crew. You don't have fun. Before we get started, I want to send a message out. I told y'all I'm coming for the early review clown. So make sure you follow me on IG, Flight Academy, underscore kicks with a Z. Your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Passive Flight, Sure Flight Ghost, Candy Man. Call me what you want. Cannot call your boy broke because I'm rich in Christ, man. Back with another video for y'all today. And I got a sticky one. Boy, I got, ooh, listen. They might ban me from the sneaker community after this one. But guess what? You can't ban a boss. I ain't scared of nobody. We ain't ducking and hiding no fades. I'm in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? Flight crew, man. But before we get started, man, listen. If you have not already, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now because we always get it jumping over here. I promise you, non-stop, man. This is what I bring, the energy that I bring to y'all to make y'all afternoons, morning, evenings, whenever I be dropping my videos, make them hype for y'all, man. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as well as follow me on IG, Flight Academy underscore kicks with a Z. Follow my store page, Flight Academy kicks underscore L-A-L. And follow your boy on Twitter, man, Flight Academy underscore K because it's going to be a crazy one. It's gonna be a crazy one, man. So, this dude, man, listen, man, listen. First of all, I just wanna say, I'm only gonna speak facts today, all right? I'm only gonna speak facts and we're gonna keep topic. So, however you feel is how you feel is cool. I'm not coming from a reseller perspective. I'm coming from a content creator, somebody who's just speaking facts about something that's servicing, right? So, with that being said, this is not throwing any shades at any stores any sneaker brands, or any sneaker resellers. But we're only going to talk about what's out there in the media right now. And that's what it is, man. So, some of you may have seen Benjamin Kicks, man. Benjamin Kicks is a well-known sneaker reseller. He's been in the game for however long, I don't know. I've actually had the honors of doing two shows with Benjamin Kicks. Got to chop it up with him. Chop it up with him a few times. We were supposed to do some work or something like that, but, you know, everybody just be saying stuff at the sneaker show. So, you, rather, you never really know who's telling the truth. And who's not, man? You kind of just take it and go with it. You're like, all right, cool, bet. Just hit me up. Peace. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of them things we see every time. Not new to the game. I'm already hip to it. So, he recently posted a flex pick. I'm talking about a flex pick. With these Union Jordan 2s, man, that recently dropped. And he kind of he kind of started a conversation, man. He kind of he kind of pricked some feathers, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, one of the things that happened was... He posted 500 pairs of the Retro 2s, right? Now, we all know that when it comes to these drops, to Unions, to Soulfly drops, to Trophy Rooms, all these drops, especially when it's based upon a store, those are some of the hardest drops to get, man. I mean, you run into the Kiff drops. Like, you run into so many issues trying to cop these pairs to retail. It's always an issue, and we get it because those are the most limited pairs when they drop, all right? So, we all know, me personally, man, I don't have no hatred towards Union, but I hate trying to get a Union shoe, man. I had troubles with, the only shoe that I got was the Desert Mall's Union 4s. I've had troubles with all the units from the Union 1s, the Union 4s, the sites crashing, putting in the raffles, not getting selected, seeing all this, all this stuff going on. Then, when I did hit on the Union 4, my pair took like two months to ship, you know what I'm saying? Well, not two months, but it took a long time, maybe like three weeks to ship, bro, you know what I'm saying? So it was just a headache, man, but I did finally get my pair. Shout out to them for the Desert Mars 4s, man. I did get those, man. But with these Union 2s, there was so much headache, controversy, hanging around the Union 2s. And then for him to post that picture, right, of 500 pairs, when some people, a lot of y'all that's watching it right now are still waiting for your shipping confirmation, you're still waiting. I don't know what you're waiting on. You're waiting on everything. Your orders got canceled. And for him to post 500 pairs freely, Y'all should have known, he should have known that this was going to start an argument. So now, how does this make Union look? 
Because, let's keep it a buck. We're going to keep it 100 with you. I'm not sugarcoating nothing. He put out a statement and said, y'all got y'all facts wrong, blah, blah, blah. I'm paraphrasing. Who said that these pairs came from Union? Who said I couldn't get them from? And then he did the shh emoji as if he was referring to Jordan Brand or Nike, that he got it from a directly. Now, we know Nike have had some issues in the past with backdooring. It's one of the things, right? Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're going to be in this sneak community, you can't be soft-hearted. Backdooring is a part of the sneak community, man. I know it's unfair. It sucks because a lot of you that want to get the pairs of retail are forced at some point to pay resale because of the backdooring going on. I get it. And I'm telling you this as somebody who has a resale store, but I understand what's happening. Now, he made a phrase as if he didn't get those pairs from Union. Wasn't a good move for him to post that picture because at the end of the day, we're talking about 500 pairs. That's 500 people that could have got them shoes, man, right? And if it is a Union exclusive shoe, you ain't just go to Nike and get those pairs, bro. You didn't just walk up to Jordan Brand and get those pairs. What does that leave? Come on, man. We ain't dumb, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta be smart, man. Listen, y'all resellers out there, when y'all get shoes, man, first of all, this is the new age generation. They want to post everything, right? You know what I'm saying? They always want to post everything. They want to flex. They want to show, I'm the big dog. And it's cool. Go ahead and do that. I ain't mad at it. Yes, I know how to get pairs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't a dummy to it. I know exactly what I'm doing. But y'all ain't never seen me post a wall of kicks. I don't got to do all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how an old boy got caught. They got his mama, um, his mama was forced to resign because of the situation of posting all the shoes. But bro, you ain't gotta do that, bro. If you plugged in like that, stay plugged in and be good with it, man. But you pretty much shine a bad light on Union itself. I don't know if Union will be able to recover from it. Yes, I know there's been previous releases before where stores have backdoored and y'all had allegations on stuff. I won't truly speak on that because I don't know what's what. But seeing something like that with somebody sitting on 500 pairs freely, you know what I'm saying? And let's keep it 100, right? Benjamin Kicks is never known for messing with reps, right? Never had replicas, any of those things. So we know that those are 500 legit pairs, right? If those shoes just released and some people are still waiting on pairs that they want through the website or through what they purchased and they still haven't shipped, that's a problem. And then the union released a statement saying, oh, we had issues with cancellation. We had issues, product issues, you know what I'm saying, not being able to fulfill all the orders. But then you have a picture of this. Like, that's crazy. They had a picture of, of, of somebody with 500 pairs. That's going to make your brand and your store look bad. And it make people lose trust in you. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a lesson learned. Like, listen, scratch what he's saying, right? I don't care about nothing what he's saying. Listen, I ain't telling y'all that he got it from Union. But what I'm telling y'all is that if you're going to get them pairs, you're either going to get them from Nike, Jordan Brand, or Union. Two of these places are big dogs. And you got to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows. You got you to gotta be plugged in. You ain't going to just be able to go in there and grab them and come back out. Listen, you know what I'm saying? In school, I ain't really pay attention that much, but there was a part where we did process elimination. So if we remove one and two, then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Then that leaves something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where it come allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that it's that, but I'm saying if you use, this, if you use the process of elimination or what, what they used to say, oh, please excuse my dear aunt Sally, whatever that was, if you just, somewhere in that formulation, if you get that together, you ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? But that comes from flexing. You know what I'm saying? Comes from flexing. Want to be known as a big dog. So now, you got to take the heat that's coming with it, man. But listen, it sucks, bro. I hate it. I hate it for consumers that's waiting on some of you people that bought it for retail. Some of you that may not even hit. Those could have been one of your pairs. I get it, man. I get it. And like I tell you, I speak the truth. I come from the resale side, and I come from just being a basic consumer side, man. I get it, man, you know what I'm saying? And there's no hate on Benjamin Kicks, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. We all in the same world doing our thing, doing what we got to do. But there's some things you probably should just leave off the internet, man, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? He's done it with multiple pairs. He did it with the Union 2s. Um, he done it with Trophy Room 1s. He's, he's done it with other pairs of Unions. Other releases, he's always had a stack of. He's always been the ultimate plug. Him doing things like that has got him the stardom that he wants, you know what I'm saying? That's y'all king. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you give praise to a person and you put them in a position, they're going to keep doing what they've been doing. So now that a lot of people missed out on the retro tools, you can't really come with the hate because the praise that you gave him for getting the other pairs come with that. If he was getting the other pairs, 
should have known he was going to have them tools too. You know what I'm saying? But I just think that Union, you know what I'm saying, they, they really need to fix their system of how they have their shoes. Um, but this is going to be a tough one. Now, we're going to talk about it for a bit, but it's not going to be talked about for a long time. You know what I'm saying? People going to move on. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be something. But I just think the timing was a ah, little toss-up on the timing. Definitely probably could have left a little piece of that off. You know what I'm saying? He could have just waited till everybody got the shoes, then flex it. Then it's like, well, boom. You know what I'm saying? I could have got my pay. I could have bought it from people. You know what I'm saying? I could have established them. But when you got 500 and people waiting on they one to get shipped, it's kind of hard to fight that, man. But let me know y'all comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section right now, man. Drop them right now. Let me know what you thought. Like I said, there's no hate on Benjamin Kicks. I ain't hating on another man because I'm getting on my own grind. I have no reason to hate. I'm blessed. You feel me? But we just speaking facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely should have waited before you posted that picture, bro. You know what I'm saying? If I get the opportunity to tell you, I'm going to take it to your face too, bro. I'm going to see you at some sneak event. Definitely should have waited before you posted that. But also, Union, that ain't a good look, man. Especially not to people that's trusting in you, man. And they waiting on their shoes, bro. So, it's one of the things. Let me know how many of y'all still waiting on your shoes right now, man. Drop the comment section right now let me know, man. But until next time, man, we got to get out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because the hate is about to start. And I got no time for it to pay any attention, you know what I'm saying? But people going to say what they want, man. But we just got to keep it real and authentic. And that's how we always do, man. So if you want to keep it real and you love the realness, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, man, you know how we rock it, man. Take flight with the flies and me fly me. Just ain't flying right. Hustle, motivate, long live, nip, man. And we out.